Hi there. My name is Richard Ford. I'm the Brexit Party prospective parliamentary candidate for the City of Gloucester. And uh, we're here after a momentous week in Parliament. There's been a Parliament's been recalled. There's been a massive debate and a very ill-tempered debate in the House of Commons. And I personally find that very worrying. I think it sets a very bad precedent on both sides. I've been assaulted and attacked in the past, been called a Nazi or a fascist or whatever it may happen to be for wanting to leave the European Union. Now, I can't understand why you're a Nazi if you want to leave the European Union, but hey, that's what's happened in the streets. And that's really regrettable. But what I think is incredibly regrettable as well is that the Prime Minister of this country, Boris Johnson, didn't really seem to take on board the fact that a Labour MP several years ago was murdered, um, people have had death threats, MPs have had death threats, and I think it behoves him and the Attorney General to try and dial down on that language, as indeed it does um, the people on the other side of the debate. That's getting us nowhere. People are incredibly frustrated at the moment, but I think people in public office really do need to tone down the language, whether they're MPs or Prime Minister or whatever else, because people follow that. And what impression does that set for younger people? Yes, it's frustrated. We're all frustrated. We're frustrated that three and a quarter years ago now we had a referendum and the Prime Minister of the day said, if we vote to leave on the Thursday, we'll trigger Article 50 on the Monday. But what he did was resign instead. We've had another three and a quarter years with the Remain Prime Minister Theresa May, shilly-shallying, dilly-dallying, not achieving anything. She lost her majority. And here we are now in October nearly. And Prime Minister hasn't been elected by the people. He doesn't have a majority in the House of Commons. How is he going to deliver on the verdict of the people now expressed three times, both in the referendum in 2016, in the general election 2017, and in the European parliamentary elections 2019. But aggressive behaviour, use of inflammatory language doesn't help. Please stop. And I'm now appealing to Richard Graham, the Conservative MP for Gloucester, to condemn the attitude of the Attorney General and of the Prime Minister in the House of Commons this week, and also to the Leader of the Opposition, Jeremy Corbyn, and the local Labour candidate here in Gloucester, Fran Boyt, to condemn people who call others Nazis or fascists or whatever else it may be. Please, Richard Graham, Fran Boyt, condemn them. Thank you. We can do so much better than currently we're getting from our members of parliament. We want to be an independent, self-governing nation, making its own laws, controlling its own borders, and being proud of who we are as a people. Join us, help us, support us, do what you can for us. We need change in this country, and we need it now. Britain needs the Brexit Party, and the Brexit Party needs you.